Greetings and welcome back to yet another episode of the Daily Run. I thought we were playing as Lazarus. Failure is inevitable and there's really no way to escape it. I feel like if you do something every single day for pretty much uh, a prolonged period of time, you you're gonna do something wrong at some point and it's gonna come back to bite you in the ass. And I think this is something that happened here. I've had quite a few good dailies in a row now and obviously I didn't expect it to last, but obviously I also didn't expect that today is gonna be the daily where I commit that fatal mistake. I wouldn't even call it a fatal mistake, maybe it was just maybe more of a combination of items we picked up, they had an anti-synergy going on to some extent, and also I just played a little bit badly, I tried to rush at a certain point, I made some rash decisions, which ended up in me losing the run much too prematurely, I would say. And of course, as always, whenever we have a bad daily, I like to look back at it and just try to see where I went wrong. Obviously, we can't escape the failure, we can't uh, escape our past to some extent, if you want to be dramatic, uh, but what we can do is look at maybe how we can apply the concept that I did wrong here, so we can kind of try to do them better in the future. Well, the first thing here I would say is anti-gravity is one of those items which is questionable. I don't like picking it up because I feel like it makes my run worse, even though it makes it objectively better. It's actually even pretty good against a lot of the enemies, like for example knights, or at least those zombie dudes, uh, which, which have a brain exposed and you can only hit them from one side. Anti-gravity is amazing against those guys because you can just kind of leave your tears in the air and kind of lure them so they charge at you and those tears which are suspended there are actually going to be able to damage them. So against those enemies it's actually quite effective. Obviously there's there are also enemies which maybe don't work as well, uh, like for example these popcorn guys, I'm not really sure what they're called, but the popcorn guys, we all know what 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 they are, I think Northern Lion named them at some point and from that uh, point the, the name kind of stuck around. But yeah, you know, they're a bit more annoying because they're unpredictable you can never really tell in which direction they're gonna go but the majority of enemies actually work pretty well with anti-gravity i guess the only thing here is that it does change the outcome or maybe how you shoot and that can maybe throw you off for a loop and you know anti-gravity on its own is not a problem i'm not trying to blame it i'm just trying to say this is one of the components which i feel like made this a little bit worse than it really had any right to be the, the, the item which I think kind of ruined the entire feeling of the shroud for me was anti-gravity plus multi-dimensional baby. And what ends up happening, of course, as you leave your tears in the ground, you kind of move alongside that and in, in that exact path, multi-dimensional baby is also gonna go, which means it's gonna trigger and convert every single tear into a dimensional tear to some extent, if you want to call it that. And that's gonna make it that, of course, you would hope that it would do more damage, it would have more range, and of course you're shooting double the shots essentially, but it doesn't really work that way and I'm not really sure why, but essentially whenever multi-dimensional touches, I mean baby t touches the tear which is suspended in the air, it's, it loses its velocity, it's not gonna go straight when it times out it's just gonna fall to the ground obviously that's good against some enemies which charge at you but against a lot of the bosses which are stationary in the room and don't really move around that's that's a huge detriment you're losing a lot of dps because you have to constantly co keep moving and if you want to take advantage of multi-dimensional baby you have to actually kind of predict where it's gonna go and shoot it while it's uh, while the tear is still in the air you can't actually let multi-dimensional baby go over the tears which are already suspended they have to be in movement if you actually want it to be effective so knowing that, it was a lot much more difficult to actually kind of, I would say, maximize our damage output. We had to move around a lot. We had to shoot uh, at more inopportune times, I would say, and it was just overall, I think, a little bit harder to aim. And I'm not saying that this is like the game's fault or anything like that. Obviously, this is my fault, right? It's my fault I can't shoot that well. It's my fault I couldn't aim. It's my fault I took so much damage at a certain point. But also, you know, when you combine the fact, like, for example, with this war room, I had quite a bit of HP coming in here. I think I had two red health and like two or maybe even three spirit hearts. And that, that would have been good in the majority of situations. I usually don't get hit against this enemy, but because Maybe of the room combination of just how these items work, the, the, the tears kind of knocked him around a little bit too much for my taste. And when they, they, when they knocked him around, of course it knocked uh, him right into me, I took a little bit too much damage, and I was just stuck like, in a position where I didn't have a lot of health. And I thought it was not going to be that big of a problem, because I feel like I can play relatively safe to some extent, or obviously there's always a chance of me just getting more spare cards as I actually go through boss rush. But it's, I think, I would say, catastrophic happened in, in, in the right sense of the word. So we got the devil deal uh, as soon as I beat mom right now, and I pick up mom's knife. And obviously that's an item that kind of goes and circumvents all of these anti synergies I'm talking about, right? We don't have to worry about the tears anymore, about the multidimensional baby. We can just use the mom to, mom's knife to actually kill enemies uh, for us, and it's not going to be that big of a problem. The first problem here is, uh, first of all, the, the room layout, the boss rush, boss rush room layout is horrible. Like, it's not very ideal for a fight like this. And a bit that only half of a spirit card is kind of risking it, you know. I, I did go in expecting 
Maybe I'm gonna pull a, a, a Hail Mary, I'll try maybe to do to get a little bit lucky. Maybe, you know, there's a good item in there which is gonna give me some health. And, but mostly, you know, I was hoping for a very lucky Spirit Heart drop. Sadly, none of those things really happened and the first three or four waves were very anxiety inducing. It had the cage, it had the adversary, it had uh, Polycephalus, I think. Just a lot of those very nasty enemies which can damage you uh, from like across the room and you can't even see that they're going. And ultimately, the second angel statue, the, the one with more health, actually managed to get me and I died right there and then, which is a bummer, but but you know, I think that this goes to show that you shouldn't take multidimensional baby alongside with anti-gravity tears, because that's not really gonna be a synergy that works, and never try to do boss rush with only half of a spirit heart, I feel like that's also a recipe for disaster, I don't think I would have fared much better if I just went to the womb, I would have most likely died there as well, but but you know, we, we try, we, we fail, it, it's a part of life, we try to learn from it and try to do better the next time we have a chance, so with that said, I hope you enjoyed this one guys, and I hope to see you next time.